had a video request about plant veneration and use of a couple plants on my Facebook page. And so the ones that were asked about was garlic, tobacco, and St. John the Con um, or John John the Conqueror root. So when people originally um, indigenous cultures would get to know the plant. They would sit with the plant. They would talk with the plant. The plant would tell them how to use it and medicinal uses. Of course, there's probably some trial and error. Um, but the, uh, we also, when we harvest a plant, we do it in a way so that it doesn't hurt the plant, so the plant can uh, keep growing and we'll usually give it something like a little bit of water if it's a wild growing plant or you can give it three or five cents um, because it's an, an energy exchange and you're having that relationship with the plant. Also um, certain traditions like uh, Palo and Osanistas believe that the plants sleep from uh, certain hours so you need to know those, those mysteries. Um, besides, it's just best to harvest plants um, in other traditions at certain hours, like farmers, because the plants hold more of the uh, energy. So since today, most of us don't grow the plants ourselves or wildcraft them as much, um, there's another way that we can sit and communicate with the root, with the plants. And this is something that is um, fairly common sense, but it's getting lost today in um, neo-paganism doing hoodoo that it, it's sort of viewed as just a list of ingredients that you would you would put in the bag or that this plant say has, um, uh, like garlic has um, Mars. So um, you're just putting the energy of Mars in the bag, but you, do, you haven't taken the time to um, really spiritually get to know, get to know the plant. So what you can do is light a white candle and have a clear water glass. In Voodoo, uh, you'll have a white candle and a clear water glass basically with almost everything that we do. And you can sit and do spiritualism and communicate with uh, the plant spirit. Uh, we pray and we ask for the powers that the plant spirit has, so we name the attributes uh, that we're looking for the plant to help us with. And we also can ask God to help empower the plant, um, the powers were given by God. Uh, but we ask uh, God for uh, elevation and progress and light for that plant spirit, for it helping because uh, we're animists, we live, we believe that spirits live in all things, that we're incarnate spirits, there's other spirits, there's spirits in plants, there's spirits in rivers, everywhere. So this will help its spiritual evolution. evolution. So the first plant asked about was, oh yeah, and that's recently was something that um, John the Conqueror was saying, is that a lot of people just, he's a very generous plant, and he likes to work because he's rumored to be a uh, Congo slave who was son of a Congo king until Congos like to work. So he's ener very generous and likes to work, but he says that not a lot of people actually um, take the time to work with him as a spirit because it's rumored that he leapt into that root. Uh, that root probably had um, spiritual value to the natives that lived in the area, and they come in male and female. Um, parts. This one has a piece sticking up. I'm not sure if that's significant, but this is a male one because it's bigger than the smaller ones. And sometimes people work with them in pairs with the, uh, male and female, sort of like um, lodestones. This one I got from Alex Jin, um, Art Obscura. He's got a pretty cool little uh, store. It's online, uh, located uh, in Texas. So I'm not as common with that one because that's more of a hoodoo root, so maybe other people can teach you more about it, but it's it's basically a master root, so it's good for domination, for love, for luck, for protection. Um, all, it works for, basically can do almost everything, works for a lot of things. Garlic is uh, rolled by fire and you can burn just the skins and eat the 
garlic cloves. This is uh, what you would find in most grocery stores is a female garlic. So ajo macho, A-H-O-A-J-O -O is garlic, macho male, are actually the Mexican, the circular small garlic that you could find at uh, Mexican um, stores, botanicas, um, and that's more the masculine one, but they both have the same qualities of uh, Mars and fire, exorcism, protection, and these to use garlic against vampires. And it's against basically like energy vampires and uh, negative energy as well. And what they also used to do in indigenous cultures is they would um, ingest part of the plant. Now you have to be very careful with some plants are obviously very toxic. Um, so there's a lot of safety and medicinal knowledge around plants too. Um, so for most of my medicinal, for most of my healthcare needs, I, I do uh, all natural unless I, ha I have to um, take something more serious. But um, so garlic against you know colds um, helps you process fatty foods. Um, so you could eat a part of this garlic as well, and um, you take that knowledge internally, and it resides in your body, and you have more in communion, I guess, with with the plant. And it's hard to describe what uh, physical knowledge in your body is like. It's sort of a, it is like an intuition, like like a knowing, but it doesn't just have to reside um, in your stomach, I guess. Um, the other plant asked about was um, tobacco. And tobacco is very important New World plant for Native Americans, uh, South Americans, and also the Taino Indios uh, on the island of Hispaniola that has the Dominican Republic and Haiti as well as Puerto Rico. Um, so tobacco is, uh, we see him as actually as a loa because he was a semi-spirit. Again, we believe in animism and the Taino Indios believed in animism. And cigar and cigar readings is called a lecturo del puro, so a reading of uh, a, a pure. Uh, so this is obviously tobacco has the energy of purity, so we will cleanse our altars and our sacred objects when we're preparing objects. Uh, people, when they come to Misa, we can um, usually light it and then put the lit in their mouth and you can fan it over a person or jettison it over a person. And tobacco uh, is can be used it's basically a messenger messenger plant, purity, and also for uh, domination and communication. So this is why we smoke cigars in Misa and our folk seances, because um, like the Lakota with their peace pipe, it creates uh, an atmosphere of understanding and unity, and we need that unity of thought together because we even call our Misas uh, reunions because we're reuniting with the spirit world as well as be having like thought together as the partic participants of uh, fraternity. And uh, charity, actually the original um, meaning of that was love of your fellow, your, your fellow man. So the very act of um, smoking a cigar, obviously if you smoked a cigar before, you don't really deeply inhale it, so, but the act of um, taking in and breathing out um, marries the internal and the external, um, the mundane, the our earthly world with the spiritual world. As well, the smoke goes everywhere, so it cleanses the environment, it helps embody spirits, as well as um, it's a messenger, so spirits from everywhere, from the four directions of the universe, or the four winds, that's also why we have, we call on the four horses of the four directions or of the medicine wheel for um, the spirit of tobacco for the smoke to go everywhere and cleanse everywhere in, in our environment. So tobacco is a very important plant. We only smoke, um, I like some flavored cigars and some spirits will like flavored cigars, but mainly for the purity. Uh, for the respect of tobacco, it's unflavored, as pure as possible, cigars, so no cigarettes, no e-cigarettes. E, e um, if you're going to be seriously working with tobacco, uh, a, a tobacco arrow, um, then you should probably give up smoking cigarettes just because that calls upon the more poisonous aspect of tobacco, and tobacco causes diseases because of all the modern man-made chemicals we add to it because they didn't really have those levels of um, diseases before uh, Europeans came and uh, made this into corporate tobacco. So you never want to use 
um, cigarettes because it, it's the poisonous, it's a poisonous aspect, and he will cause disease if you abuse him. So, I saw in one person's video they were using used cigarette butts to create a wash for their floor stoop, and I wouldn't rec recommend that. Um, you have to think about the usage of how you're using the using the plant. Um, so this person also asked asked about the four winds. That's a little bit of a separate video, um, but that is how it is related to the cigar because the cigar also um, the smoke goes up into the air and so it raises our prayers and our thoughts to the higher higher spirits and, and to God as a messenger spirit, and it also. Um, it's, it's, used, it's just used in Misa because it's a very communicative uh, plant and uh, even when I used to s smoke cigarettes and you take like a moment kind of for yourself just to think about something and relax, it kind of alters your sense of um, space and time just a teeny little bit because there are chemicals in the plant and they originally used um, Nicotinia rustica but that's not what they normally grow for uh, corporate tobacco because the plant is not as hardy. So you can use loose leaf tobacco as well as long as it's not like I have all the added like formaldehyde and, and all that in it. Of course um, organic tobacco um, probably would be the best. I know Native Spirits has does have this, those organic um, cigarettes and I would just probably just um, maybe tear off the filter. I don't know. I only use um, I, I like cigarellos, I like the small cigars. Um, and for reading, maybe reading a cigar for other things, I might use like a bigger, bigger cigar. So, um, I hope I answered your questions. And um, these are really important plants, especially in um, uh, our temple and for this, and uh, for the native uh, Taino, uh, tobacco was really important. Copal was really important for incense. Uh, they burn the resin. I also use the incense sticks. And there's a difference between black and white copal, and um, they have different attributes as well. As well as uh, Rompe Zaragüe, I think it's called throw wart, and it breaks um, malicious energy and lies and, and that people place on you, or witchcraft, or, or the dead. Um, Basil is a very, very important plant in Sanse because all the most of the all the higher Mysterio or the Loa like it, and it's a very blessing and protective plant as well. And so, you'll see it very, very often on our uh, voodoo uh, altars in our tin cup with the water with a, a little sprig of basil in it. Um, uh, we use it around our other spirits as well. Um, so those are really important. Plants also uh, um, the miraculous Maravilla uh, witch hazel is another really important plant. Sage we don't usually use white sage, but we would more use garden sage. Um, rue hyssop um, and bitter herbs. Um, you could we could soak them in alcohol. Use them for cleansings, or cleansing, or cleansing ourselves. Just kind of like Florida water, but more of um, herbs because Florida water is more, um, it is cleansing, but it, it um, calls spirits and it will call both good and bad spirits. So I'll usually use uh, Pompeii lotion, cologne for um, more positive influence of spirits. And Kanaga uh, water is also used for the dead and that has mainly ylang ylang. And they used a lot in Jamaican spiritism because they had a lot of plantations there. But they also, they won't use that after midnight because it really uh, lowers your inhibitions. And then after midnight is when some of the more negative or darker spirits um, and trickster spirits at the crossroads time a day of, of 6 and uh, 12. So I hope that answered your question. And I'll be making some more videos soon if you have any other video requests. This is uh, Sensi's to Seven Crossroads.